If you ever driven an old farm truck, I don't know that you really ever drive it. Honestly, I think you encourage it. And so as you're driving that, you're kind of bumping the wheel and bumping this way, and it's kind of going like this. Our rangeland environments are just like that, is we really never have tight steering and control over that. There's just too many variables out on the landscape. What I like to say is, it's nice is that we nudge it and then try to find where's it going. And we try to use that. We use monitoring and measuring, and we try to see, okay, what direction is going on? We look at the plants, and then do we need to nudge it back? We have the really unique opportunity to visit with a lot of producers um, in, in an area. And I'll be honest that we learn as much from the producers as they learn from us. And that's what I really enjoy about the job as well, is it's learning together. We also try to help tailor, kind of bring in this idea of, you know, you have a livestock business, you have wildlife interests, whatever that is. We're trying to bring that side of it to what does the plant community need and trying to make sure that those line up and that we kind of head down the roads. So that old truck analogy is, you know, we don't want to center in the ditch. If we bump it too hard one way, we're in the ditch. And then how do we get it back out? Sometimes we're in the ditch. If there's, if, if, if mismanagement or even just conditions, say we have a lot of brush moving into it. If we've, if we've gone off the road, it's going to take a pretty big nudge to get it back. That might be where we provide some technical, maybe also some financial assistance to bump it. Let's get her back on the road. That might be through some mechanical treatments. Um, but what's nice is it's tailored to your pasture, to your management. And the analogy of the farm truck is having a goal is what road do we want to be on? And that's where, um, again, we, our, our ecological sites, um, have plant communities that we would expect to find out there. In other words, where am I headed? Where on that map do I want to go? And so within that ecological site description, it describes what that destination is. And what's kind of unique about that, it's really not a destination, it's kind of an area we get to go visit. And so it's not just a specific point, is there's lots of things to be going on there. But if I want a tall grass community with a lot of diversity of forbs, how do I manage towards that? In the West, as far as those different ones, if I have, you know, the, the uh, blue grama, the buffalo grass growing there, what does it take to keep that? Or if I want to move or change that? And what it does, it provides pathways. What kind of management might I need to consider? So if we notice, if we notice we went off in the ditch, then it starts helping us define how do we get back on there? And so is that through grazing management? In some environment, again, back to the the three main ecological drivers of that grazing is that fire um, or is there just a couple of years drought hit us and that's just some natural range of variability in the plant community itself that there's maybe not a major bump it's just a matter of the environment the, the, the weather factors have to start turning we just need to best make decisions while we're there to kind of get it back on the right course